In this example, we will be explaining the include relationship, the extend relationship, and the generalization relationship within the SysML use case diagram. So with that, we'll get started. What you're seeing here is the base use case monitor environment that is allocated to the system of interest, the surveillance system, and we have several actors that are outside of our system of interest. And then we have connected the actors to the main use case with an association relationship. Now we're going to refine the main use case here to a complete set of use cases. So what you're seeing here is monitor environment, the base use case, and then we have the extend relationship to this use case, handle camera fault. And then we have include relationships to initialize system and shutdown system. The inclusion relationship allows one use case referred to as the base use case to include the functionality of another use case called the included use case. The included use case is always performed when the base use case is performed. On the other hand, the extension relationship handle camera fault in this case, the extending use case is a fragment of functionality that is not considered part of the base use case functionality. The extension use case handle camera fault is only only happens after the extension point or this action happens, camera fault detected, and then handle camera fault is, it, it occurs. Additionally, we have two generalization relationships. Manually, monitor environment goes up to monitor environment, and automatically monitor environment has a generalization relationship up to monitor environment. The way to explain this is manually monitor environment is a type of monitoring the environment just the same as automatically monitoring the environment is a type of monitoring the environment. And then we also have this setup track use case. So with that, we've explained the extend, include, and generalization relationships within a use case example. Thanks.